Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nicholas Rivas. I do videos on politics and stuff. And today we're going to be talking about Gina Carano. She is a former MMA fighter turned actress, a really good actress. Uh, she killed it in Mandalorian. But I want to talk about how she fumbled the bag with the Mandalorian. So for those who don't know, Gina Carano, really great MMA fighter. For the time that she was fighting in, she was a trendsetter. There was not much fighters in her league to begin with. So it's hard to gauge. And this is before the UFC even had a women's division. So the biggest MMA promotion didn't even allow women to fight in that capacity. So Gina then got roles in Hollywood. I don't have the list in front of me, but I saw her in a few things. She's really dominated as an actress more so than an MMA fighter. But she should be respected for both. To, to jump into both and be well known for both is just amazing. She, she, she is a talented figure. The issue is, though, she gets the role in The Mandalorian, and she kills it. She's one of the greatest parts of that show. The issue, though, is when it starts getting into, I think it's second, third season, Gina then has issue with, I think, the COVID mandates. Comparing him to Auschwitz, because, you know, not the brightest move, but that's her principle. That's where she stands by. She believes that the mandates, the COVID vaccine, it's all a hoax, and we're just leading them to their demise. We're all, we're all sheeps to the cosmic slaughter of sorts. So, Gina then gets ousted, right? She is kicked off the show, kind of dismissed. I think in The Mandalorian, last I remember, she, she killed off. No, I think they just mentioned her as like on a mission or something, right? But she was a great part of that show, and they were planning to expand upon her character and make a, you know, a separate show and some comic books and yada yada. People loved her too. So by her sta standing with her principles, you give her that respect. But in her most recent endeavor, she's working with Ben Shapiro's um, movie company. I guess that's what it is. He's, he's, he's distributed a few films. I don't know if he made the films himself. It actually stars a UFC fighter, uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Um, but she, she's on this this cowboy movie now, and it makes $815, um, which in, you know, box office terms is like you spent a billion dollars to make a dollar back. Obviously, I don't know the budget, um, but I doubt that the budget with these two big pro high-profile figures, Donald Cerrone and, and Gina Carano herself – were less than a thousand dollars, right? Like I don't think they were. I don't think eight hundred dollars was the budget. Um, so the movie flops, flops really hard, and she goes on, you know, a Twitter defense, right? People are like, "You dumbass, you fumbled the bag," and she starts saying, like, "You know what? I stood by my principles. I did this, da da da. I will never back down to to corporate Hollywood." And I give her that respect, actually. I give her that that if you truly believe in something, this is one one thing about me. If you truly believe in what you believe and you stand by it, and I don't even want you to be consistent because there's sometimes your principles has to vary depending on the case. But for the most part, if you hate one president because he's doing X war and then you don't hate another president because he's doing Y war, I don't have respect for you. Now, there's obviously nuance to a lot of these situations, but consistency at its most principled basis is all I care about, right? Like that's – I just want to see people – Try to be as consistent as possible. Try to be as principled as possible. And if your principles go against maybe some utilitarian mindset, fine. But the idea is I respect that she, even if she sounds stupid comparing COVID stuff to, to Auschwitz, given that I don't know any COVID regulation, any COVID mandate as of this year, right? Like there's nothing. There's no remnants of any sort of COVID world, even though we've lost so many to COVID. And maybe we should have done more. As the USA, we did nothing comparatively to other countries. So to say that it's so severe and it's crazy, it's obviously she's just, you know, the boy who cried wolf at this point, um, like many of the anti-vaxxers. But I respect that is her, her belief. But to see a billion dollars on the table and say no because you think you're smarter than a scientist, ooh, mama mia, that's stupid stupid that is so dumb you are dumb if my vet told me to get my animals vaccinated i'm probably gonna do it because i don't know dack shit about uh <laughs> dogs i don't know anything about animals 
I don't know about the human body. I know my body. I know basic stuff like immune system. But she's a fighter turned actress. She's not a doctor. She's not a epidemiologist. She doesn't know about the immune system. She doesn't know about what's even in these vaccines. I couldn't fucking tell you what's in these vaccines. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. I'm a betting man. And if I could bet that if Gina Carano gave me medical advice and a doctor gave me medical advice, I'm going to go with the doctor. So my doctor and many other doctors in my life told me, you should probably get the vaccine. It's pretty good for you. The 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 um, the cons outweigh the, you know, or the pros outweigh the cons. Yada, yada. Like just that, that thought process, right? But to her, she turned it to political. She said, this is a pandemic, right? With her, with her um, rhetoric, she was insistent that this is a pandemic of sort. They are trying to, you know, negate any rights we have, control us under one government, whatever their conspiracy is. When in reality, it, they were just a movie company who didn't want to get caught up with COVID. So they probably gave her a mandate either by testing, you have to test every week or every day, or get the vaccine. And she fumbled it. And I don't know what the full details of her story were. All I know is that she is very much now on the right-leaning side, given that she's with Ben Shabibos, and her rhetoric definitely seems against to be any sort of mandates or ever, any sort of government intervention. If you believe in that, good for you. I, I, God bless you. Bless your heart. I hope, I hope you're safe, and I hope nothing happens to you. But at the end of the day, she fumbled the bag, and she's aware of it. Given her responses like, I don't even care. And then she starts blocking people, right? Like, th this is a real thing I'm seeing on Twitter. Really, really big uh, Twitter people were making fun of her and she starts blocking them left and right. You got on your fifis with it. It's okay. If you're really in your principle, I'd be, I would be looking my head high. But it's so hard to have your, your chin up when you're looking at a billion dollars that you would have you would have had if you just would have complied with the company you're working for, right? Like... Over something that you don't even have the confidence fully to wrap your head around. I don't have the confidence to wrap my head around. But all that being said, it even it's the it's the the the, the salt on the wounds because there's no mandates. Like her fear of this mandated world is gone. Who cares? It's it's there's no Auschwitz. There is no um, star on our chest because we are those who are not vaccinated. Ever so more the days passed. She is seeing. That her choices are going to ruin her. Just like when I started seeing a lot of the QAnon people see none of the QAnon stuff happen, the regret started to sink in. Now, I don't think I have right answers. And honestly, I don't think I have a better world even to present to you. Like the COVID shit still ruined our world and it divided us. But I hope it's sinking in a little bit more that she's like, maybe I fumbled the bag and maybe I should have listened to my doctors and blah, 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 blah. But hey, God bless her. Hope she's okay. But damn, lady, you fumbled that bag. Thank you. Peace.